what's broken or what changed. There used to be a uh, a thing up top that showed like active statistics, how much memory the game was using, the stream was using, etc. Um, and it's not doing that anymore. And in trying to fix it, it went full screen, and it would not get out of full screen, which I needed it to be. So, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful start. Let's see if we can make it better here. Um, that's the ranch. Can we not just fast travel across the map here? Do we? Do I actually have to run the whole map? Okay, so we're going to pick back up. We need to go over here. I did a little bit more tower climbing just because the, the more recent um, missions that we did opened up more towers, etc., etc. So let's head back over to the other side of the map and start the next mission. What even just happened? Come on, Ezio. Alright, there we go. Let's see here. I have to say, probably the, the most annoying thing about this map is the fact that there's the giant river running through it, and it seems like at all the the worst areas like I need to cross here but there's no way to cross every time we come across the river I need to cross it and there's just no easy way granted that could be that could be user error that could be my fault alright you don't see me goodbye What are you doing? Come 
I'm leaving, I'm leaving, leave me alone. Oh, and the chest is full back at the ranch. That's not good. Uh, so before we go and do... Let's see here. There we go. So before we go and do the next uh, mission, I just want to run back to the ranch real quick. Uh, pick up our pasta points from the, the chest. And then we should be able to uh, jump right back to where we left off in Venice. Yes, pasta points. Alright, here we go. Here's the fast travel point. Back to the ranch. Away. go but is it under siege uh no i don't think so And let me see here. Alright. Fully kitted out. Let's go grab the stuff from the chest. Got all that. We should be able to finish off the town here. Buongiorno. Salute, Serezio. Shall we take a look at the list? I think the only thing that was left was the blacksmith. There we go. Buon viaggio. go we got the money uh we've maxed out all the buildings so i have a bit of an issue fam um so i started up my uh my, you know, the Twitch studio, the, the app. Let me see here. Um, there we go. So we're going back to Venice and we need to go here. There we go. Um, so I started up the, uh, the Twitch app and um, all my statistics are gone. I can't see how many people are watching. I can't see uh, the memory, like how much memory is being used. I can't see the upload speed. And I can't figure out a way to get it back. It's just gone for no reason. Yeah, the Twitch Studio app. It's the, the app that they use for uh, streaming. Like you download it and then it gives you everything that you need to, to customize it. 
Um, let's see here. But yeah, all my statistics are just gone. No idea where they went, no idea how to get them back. Like, I used to have a bar right along the top of the, the app um, that said, like, um, you know, how many people are watching, all that good stuff. So I'm going to have to play with the, the app again um, after stream tonight. I have no idea why, uh, why it just decided to disappear. Like, I didn't mess with the settings or anything like that last night or today or anything. I just started up the app. It was all gone. And uh, also, uh, in the process of trying to get it back... This is actually technically the second stream of this evening because I streamed for about 10 minutes uh, and had technical difficulties. And I had to close down the stream and restart it just to get things going again. You have a confession? Ha, ah, there's the rest of the towers. Okay. Please underscore Gib is Thai. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, regardless of if it's Ty or not, you know, it uh, it's it's good to have another follower. So thank you, Ty. You must be one of Bartolomeo's men. What's happened here? Where is he? Silvio Starks attacked, looking deeper into the district, north of here. Yeah, Jason Knight. Yeah, no, and his hand looked like it was made of wood. Let's see if we can get a cheap kill. Wait, can I just can I just like stay here on the edge of the water and they'll just fall in? They will. Oh no, they're gonna start throwing rocks. Oh dear. Dude, come on. All right, another one went in.
rocks are pretty good. I know, the rocks are obnoxious. Uh, oh, I just realized something. Hey, uh, hey y'all. Did I, uh, did I just fight a bunch of guards thinking that this red circle was the objective and it's not the red, the red circle is not the objective at all, it's the yellow crosshair on the minimap? Because if that's what happened, I am turbo dumb. Yeah, the red circle's restricted. Found him. Okay. Got him. Alright, so I'm thinking after this mission, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go and do the other five, uh, the other five assassin tombs, because that way we can get, um, what is it, we can get Ezio's armor. Uh, I am real tired of having all this, uh, all this, like, little, little health bar. The audio's funky. Oh, hang on. Okay, let me know if that's better. I did have it kind of loud on my desktop. Sweet Frida. How I have missed you. Silvio set these men to ransacking your place. Prepare yourself for a fight. Ah! Come on. 
There we go. Hello? There we go. So yeah, the audio issue was it was too loud on my desktop. Stand down. Never! What good is a man's life if it's not lived free, eh? I'll not go back into a cage. Then you'll go into the ground. Kill them! Actually, no, you know what? We'll go until... There we go. We'll go until we can get... Um... Or no, we already finished uh, Segment 9, which means we should be able to get Altair's sword. Let me see if I can find it. How do you get it? Design, history. I don't need to know the history of the sword. I need to know where to find it. Complete the six assassins' tombs, then place the seals you obtain on the basement. This unlocks the armor. The sword is available for sale at your villa blacksmith only for about 40,000. Holy cow. All right. Well, we have the money, so that's good. So we'll go and do tomb raiding then. Bianca. I hope she is unharmed. <laughs> so let me see here. We've got is that Templar Lair. That's different. We've got one, two. There's a third in the villa. So we know where three are. How did that guy's story end? Oh, well, we'll find out. Bianca! Bianca! Is everything all right? What do you think? Look at this place! And poor Bianca. If something's happened to her... Aha! Oh, my darling. Thank God you're all right. It was his sword. Ezio, meet Bianca. Bianca. Ezio. Charmed. So, I know your name. But not why you're here. I have business with Silvio Barbarigo. I was told you could help. Ah, it would be my honor. But it's going to require more than just the two. Three of us to weaken his forces. How do you suggest we proceed? I'll go and ready my men for battle. While I do this, I'd like you to rescue those who were captured during Silvio's assault. I cannot in good conscience leave them behind. In Daisy. I will attend to it at once. Good luck out there, Ezio. So, I keep Twitch open during streams to see who else is streaming the same game that I am. And... For whatever reason, under Assassin's Creed 2, there's a bunch of Portuguese guys playing pool. I don't know why... Why is he wearing two different gloves? Because I upgraded the glove that he uh, does hand-to-hand -hand combat with. Um, so that way when I hit people with the one that's got metal on it, it hurts more. Ha! What to do with this lot? Flood the cage, I say. Down them all and be done. Sylvia wants them alive. Thinks he can turn them to our cars. I wouldn't count on it. They're as loyal as they are stupid. Ooh, 
double assassination triple. Yeah. Many thanks for the aid, friend. We'd like to fight with you, if you'll have us. Let's go. That's really annoying. I uh, I keep note of when cool stuff happens for the highlight reel, uh, and uh, yeah, I uh, I can't do that because the thing, the bar on the top of the app is gone. Swords are the jeeps of the Renaissance. We are with you, friend. Only lead the way. God, we have our own personal army. Get out of the way. I'm trying to assassinate him. There we go. All right, this way. Ty is very upset that I murdered the annoying man with the loot that follows me around and annoys the crap out of me. Oh, well. Don't worry. There will be three dozen more. Tell Ty not to worry, there will be at least three dozen more.
back here. I love how this tower was like designed as a as a puzzle for people who were climbing it and then the the tower leap climb just kind of breaks that Just jump, don't look. I'm gonna look. I, I don't want to waste my time respawning. Welcome back, and well done. My host is restored to its former glory. Now Silvio will see just how grave a mistake he's made. How should we proceed? A direct assault against the Arsenale? No, we'd be massacred at the gates. I have something else in mind. Take my men and plant them throughout the district. The trouble they cause will force Silvio to dispatch most of his guards. The Arsenale joined the mercenaries. I can move in for the kill. Esatto. You'll be virtually unopposed. Let's hope he takes the bait. Oh, don't worry. He will. Okay, we done here? No, you guys still picking a fight with someone? Okay. Now are we done here? What was the mission's title? I didn't see it. Alright, there we go. 
<laughs> Wait here for my signal. As you wish. Segui. Come on. There we go. Yeah, guys, come on. I can... There we go. Consider it done. Alright, so now we're off to the next location. Done here, come on, move it. Okay, now that that small massacre is over. Ezio, assassinate him, please. Stop messing around. So what was the what was the whole point of that? Was it just setting up? Was it 
Was it just setting up, like, having mercenaries around the city? There we go. Ah, there you are. Is it done? Yes. All your men are in place. Bene, bene. Take this. I assume you know how it works. Find the highest point you can in the district. And fire it from there. This signals my men to begin the attack. All right, then. I will see you on the battlefield. That you will. Also, one other thing that I keep forgetting to check is, uh, we need to see if they have subtitles on this. They do! They have subtitles! There we go. Just so that that way, if we have another instance of, uh, like we were at the, the Mardi Gras celebration in the last chapter and you guys couldn't hear what they were saying over the music that they were playing, makes sense. You hear better with subtitles. <laughs> Oh, hey, it's the guy who won the mask. Bartolomeo needs my help. Oh, dear. What? He fell in the water! What? What? Oh my goodness.
must return to l'arsenale. Salute, Ezio! Siamo for some company. By all means! Come on. Uh, it looks like they're already leaving, dude. Got him. Double assassination. Finally enjoy a bit of pace tranquillita. We should celebrate. I appreciate that they victory. translated in parentheses for you in the subtitles. Man, Romeo, but I cannot join. I fear my work has just taken a rather strange turn. What do you mean? Silvio wasn't looking to replace Marco at Doge. He was about to leave Venezia, in fact. This whole thing was just a distraction. Why? That is what I need to find out. Alright, we're off to Cyprus, and I think that's an achievement. Yep, there we go. Bianca's Man, complete sequence 10. That was a quick sequence compared to the last couple. No, not time to build Brothel 2. There you are, Ezio. Why so silly? It's my birthday. Davvero? Cento di questi giorni. That's wonderful. Is it? 
been over ten years since I watched my father and brothers die. Ten years hunting the men responsible. So close to the end now, but... No closer to understanding what any of it was for. You may not see it, Ezio, but it's better here now because of the things you've done. Bastard. Look here. I have a birthday present for you. It's Larsenale's shipping manifest. From the day the boat left. The boat to Cyprus? You're serious? And guess when it's scheduled to return? Tomorrow. Ezio. Leonardo! When do you get back? Just now. I need to talk to you. Right away. <laughs> Go on. Have fun, boy. Better be good. Oh, it is. It is. Walk with me. Stay close. These last two codex pages. I was studying the copies. I don't know why I never saw it before. But when put together, I realize the markings on the back clarify into words. Here. The prophet will appear when the second piece is brought to the floating city. Prophet? Only the prophet may open it. Two pieces of even. Yeah, her knee is, uh, her leg's I'm good. Saying, it's just a flesh wound. Is. We've known each other a long time, Leonardo. If I can't trust you, there is nobody. My uncle Mario spoke of it long ago. A prophecy hidden in the Codex. Leading to an ancient vault that holds something very powerful. Grandioso. But if you took these pages from the Barbario, then maybe they know about this vault too. That's not good. Wait. What if that's why they sent the ship to Cyprus? To find this piece of Eden and bring it back to Venezia. When the second piece is brought to the floating city, the prophet will appear. Only the prophet can open the vault. My God! When my uncle told me about the Codex, I was too young, too brash to imagine it was anything but an old man's fantasy. But now I see. The killing of Mogenigo. Even the Medici. My father and brothers. It was all part of his plan. To find the vault. The Spaniard. boat from Cyprus arrives tomorrow. I plan to be there to meet it. Good luck, my friend. It, is that... That's it? That's the end? That wasn't even a mission? So, how did he a, how did he a Spanish guy from all that? What uh, Rodrigo Borgia? He's the guy who's been wearing the like the dark robes and the hood, like when uh, Ezio delivered, um, when Ezio delivered the the package of uh, evidence to his fr uh, father's friend back in um, Florence, um, and the the guy with the dark robe appeared behind his his father's friend uh that was rodrigo borgia he's the the puppet master in all of this basically the templars know about the prophecy uh because they've been collecting those codex pages and they know um about the vault they've been able to divine where the vault is and what it's going to require and so on and so forth um, which is why Rodrigo Borgia, if you've been paying attention to the conversation between the Templars, um, he's been working with the Pope. Because it says only the prophet may open the vault. And so who is the holiest person in the world right now? The Pope. So they're trying to get within the Pope's good graces uh, so that he'll open this secret vault for them. Assuming he, I, assuming he doesn't even know, they're probably just like, "Hey, Mr. Pope, how's it going? We just need you to open a door for us." Yeah, only you, sir. Only you can fix it. But uh, if you do that, we'll be we'll be right as rain.
what kind of Da Vinci Code stuff is this? I mean, I, this is we're just scratching the surface of how deep some of this lore goes. Believe me, we we've still got two more games with Ezio as the main character. There's a, gonna be a lot of lore. You assume that it's a standard door, and or a standard vault door. That's uh, that's your mistake here. Alright, so once I get the last of these towers, we're going to take a, uh, a short break from the story, and we're going to go and do all the assassin tombs, um, just so that we can get the sword and the armor. Almost there. How the heck am I getting over there? Okay, yep, we can get up on the battlements this way. Thank you. 
Come on. It's right there. Maybe you have to climb the, the building first, and then transfer over to the wall. Oh, yep, that's what it's looking like. Alright, we got about 22 more uh, viewpoints to synchronize. I'm willing to bet after we get the last ones here uh, in... Uh, I always forget, it's Venice. Uh, after we get the last ones here in Venice, I'm willing to bet um, Cyprus is where the last of them are. Also, I'm going to do this story mission just because I really don't want to make my way all the way back here. Oh, look. Look at that. That's the apple. You recognize that? Where are they taking it? The apple was in Cyprus. Detec what? Detected? Oh, are we not supposed to... It's a trailing mission. I thought we were supposed to take the treasure. We were not. Look behind him. Let them have it.
many years and many shits left. I ain't got time to hear your life story, bub. Is this guy going? No, Ezio, what the... What are you doing, you idiot? Oh my goodness. If you just lost this guy for me, Ezio, I'm gonna be real mad. The maestro awaits. There we go. Do not suffer mistakes. Package it correctly. Do it now. The Spaniards here... I can infiltrate this group, take the place of the courier, and lead me right through the middle of the plaza. Deal. After you. Oh, that's an achievement. Okay. No need to be shy. Come forward. I don't know, maybe I can climb the wall and jump down on him? Don't they stab haystacks? Yes, they do. They get suspicious and they start stabbing. Okay. Problem solved. Also, we're not wearing the guy's clothes. He was not in that armor. <clears throat> yes, sir. This is a moment of great importance. Stay in formation. Make this right. I mean, we could literally just, like, walk off with the treasure. Like, I guarantee you we could outrun and outsmart all of these guys. You have disappeared. 
disappointed me. I tend to get violent when I'm disappointed. Don't get out of my sight! I'm going to war! You know what I love? I love it when I'm walking down the street and some guy's carrying something heavy. And he sees me walking down the street minding my own business and purposefully veers into me and then drops all his stuff like it's my fault. I love that. See, like, look at this. Four of the guys carrying boxes, they're like, oh, I'll just keep walking right into this guy. Hate it. They, they just spawned him. Are you kidding me? Why is that one guy covered in blood? Does anyone else see this? That one guy that's just absolutely covered in blood following us? That can't be good. Do you really have it? You were not followed. Absolutely. Everything like, went perfectly. That we guy. Followed your orders exactly as specified. The mission to Cyprus was more difficult. Rodrigo. So, where is he? Who? Your prophet. Doesn't look like anybody showed up, Rodrigo. How many people have died for these? For what's in this box? And look, there's nobody here. You claim not to be a believer, and yet here you are. Don't you see him? The prophet is already here. I am the prophet. Now give me the apple. Come and take it from me. Can I... Hello? Okay, the gun did not work. Got him on the ropes. Is this all you have? Whoever 
Where's the rest of your people? What people? You really have no idea, do you? Guards! Hey, it's Take everyone else. And here is the wonderful realization. Ezio thinks he's been doing it alone, more or less himself, the whole time. Surprise, no you haven't. This is a losing battle. I, it looks like I've got the upper hand. See? Look at that. He's gone, but we have what we came for. No. I need to go after him. Do you really now? Or are you here for another reason, my son? Theodora! What? What are you all doing here? Perhaps the same thing you are, Ezio. Hoping to see the Prophet of Dean. I came here to kill the Spaniard. I couldn't care less about your Prophet. He never showed up. No. But you did. What? A Prophet's arrival was foretold. And unbeknownst to us, here you are. Perhaps all along, you were the one he saw. Who are you? Niccolò di Bernardo de Machiavelli. I am an assassin, trained in the ancient ways to safeguard mankind's evolution. Just like you, and each one of us here. Hey! Assassins? Paola. Volpe. It's true, Nipote. We have all been guiding you for years, teaching you the skills you would need to join our ranks. I think it's time. We have our pride. There is much to be done. Come, meet us here at sunset. La shea waka umutlak bel kunduni muti. These are the words spoken by our ancestors that lay at the heart of our creed. Where other men blindly follow the truth, remember. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Where other men are limited, by morality or law, remember. Everything is permitted. We work in the dark to serve the light. We are assassins. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. It is time, Ezio. In this modern age, we are not so literal as our ancestors. But our seal is no less permanent. Are you ready to join us? I am. This only hurts for a while, brother. Like so many things. Benvenuto, Ezio. You are one of us now. Come, we have much to do. Oh, that's inventive. <laughs> Instead of cutting off the ring finger, they just brand the ring finger.
and boom, Ezio is officially an assassin. And there's another achievement. We are done with DNA sequence 11. I know, but he's officially recognized as the other assassins. Oh look, we're out of the, uh, out of the Animus. Are you okay? Do you want to stop? No, I need to go back, right now. Want to share with the rest of us? Rodrigo Borgia is elected Pope in 1492, which means Ezio's greatest enemy is now also the most powerful man in Italy. Always wanted to visit the Vatican. Well, your luck's in, Desmond. Happy days. Because that's exactly where you go. They've got safeguards. Don't worry about it. explain this than explain to you why the earth goes around the sun. You mean the sun around the earth? It's fabricated with materials that shouldn't exist. And yet, this is clearly a very ancient artifact. The Codex refers to it as a piece of Eden, the Spaniard. He called it the apple. Like Eve's apple, of forbidden knowledge. Are you then suggesting that this thing... must never fall into the wrong hands. It will drive weaker minds insane. No doubt the Spaniard will be relentless in his desire to gain it back. Ezio, you must protect this with all the skills we have taught you. Take it to Forli. The citadel is walled, protected by cannon, and our ally controls it. Who is this ally? Her name is Katarina Sforza. You don't say. I think I may enjoy this mission. Hey, do you remember uh, Katarina, our crush from the very beginning of the game? Ezio tells me you travel often to Milan. I have a grand villa in Toscana. You must come visit me there. She's the one, she's an ally of the assassins. She's the one that controls the, uh, the, the castle here. Or no, maybe it was the lady that we helped on the boat. Let me just check real quick here. Oh, here's a bunch of, uh, high points that we haven't gotten. Maybe this is where the last of them are. And what do we have here? Special memory. Okay. Repaired memory. Okay. So, I guess when Assassin's Creed 2 came out, at some point they released DLC missions for it. I don't know if I ever played the DLC missions. I It's news to me that they even exist. So, um, technically, chapters... Let me see here. Chapters 12 and 13 are DLC missions, and then 14 is back to the main game. So this will be number 12. Well, well. Look who it is. Madonna. 
I thought swimming like you were a bit special, but an assassin. Mm. What is in time? You're going to love for it. The cannons in our citadella alone go back a hundred years. The artifact will be quite safe there. Forgive me, but I've never heard of a woman ruling her own city before. It's very impressive. Well, it was my husband before, of course. He died. I had him killed. <laughs> we discovered Girolamo Iario was working for the Templar, making a map of the locations of the remaining Codex pages. I never liked that goddamn son of a bitch anyway. He was a lousy father, boring in bed, and a pain in my ass. Look. What's happening? They came as soon as we left the city walls, Signora. The city is under attack. What? By who? The Orsi brothers, Signora. Oh, sangue di Giuda. Who are the Orsi? The same canalia I hired to kill my husband. It's the Spaniard, of course. The Orsi have no world view bigger than their purse. But how could he know where we were taking the apple before we even knew? Because they're not here for the apple, Ezio. They're after Riario's map. Basta with your map, Nicolo. My children are inside. Oh, porco demonio. Can I play them here? You mean the DLC chapters? Yeah, that's what this is. They're already inside. Double-crossing bastards. Is there another way into this place? Aspetta. Perhaps yes. There's an old tunnel under the western wall from the canal. Bene. I'll be right back. Hey, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You spineless dog. You occupy my city, my home. You think I'm going to stand here and do nothing about it? How about I come over and rip your valley off? Oh, because of course there's archers. Where the heck is this tunnel? It's gotta be around here.
Come on, Ezio, get on the rope. There we go. Come on. Ezio, just climb, man. There we go. Got him. All right. Go, go. Right, there we go. Have, have we have we met the requisite kill count? Can we move on, please? There we go, Jesus, he's almost dead. Can, can that be it, please? I don't think she can survive another encounter.
Octaviano. Forgive me, signora. They were playing outside when the attack began. I don't know where they are. Reinforcements from the mountains! They are breaching the citadel! Ezio, don't let those bastardi get in here! With me! Alright, we done? Oh my goodness, come on Ezio. Please just climb. Please just climb. Okay, uh, kill 10 enemies in combat without being hit. Uh, I was not aware that I was going for that one, but that's one less worrisome one that I don't have to worry about. Something of yours? A certain map? And a certain apple, brother. See, a certain apple indeed. Or shall I slice your baby's necks ear to ear? Bastardi! You think you can threaten me? I'll give you nothing! You want my children? Take them! I have the instrument to make more! Nope. <laughs> when you change your mind, they'll be in the village outside the city. You have one hour! Was not expecting that. Whoops. Katerina, no. I can't ask you to sacrifice your children. Nobody's sacrificing anything. Go get them back for me, Ezio. See, si. you have my word. Diablo needs to remain in the citadel. It is safe. 
yeah, the, the full playthrough of this is not going up on YouTube. It's just going to be the highlight reels. I, I, the, the playthrough of this game, the playthrough of this game would be taken down in an instant. Oh boy, it is a ways away. Damn, she told her daughter that uh, she had her husband killed. And her daughter's just like, wow, mom, you're a boss. Oh, I'm 
There we go. Got him. Easy. Easy. I was a fool to send you. Or are you the fool? Dying for a handful of change. Was it worth it? More than you know. The maestro gains his price. Because of me. Mori col tuo orgoglio. Per quanto vale. Requiescat in pace. Oh, neat. And we can uh, synchronize this. So let's see here. So we'll head back and uh, talk to her again. Alright. Wait, what is that? Is that another tomb that it's pointing us to? It's a special memory. Well, we can do the, um, we can do the special memories, maybe, if there's an achievement for them. Um, that's just, like, Special memories are just like pre-order bonuses, uh, where it's like a little mission like, oh, Ezio goes to, to France and has a mission there, and it is really short. back this way. I'm an idiot.
All right, let's go start this next mission here. What are you doing out here? I'm so sorry, Ethio. I'm so sorry. What happened? It was a trick to lower our defenses. As soon as you left, they attacked again. Keko Orsi, he has the apple. What? No. Where is he? We chased him out here. Bastards escaped into the mountains. I'm going. All right. So we just got to track him down. This is probably another horse riding one. Harvest Moon came out yesterday? What what one? Is there a new one? Back here. Got him. That was significantly easier than the last one. So, you have your prize again. Was it worth it? So much bloodshed. <coughs> A prize of such value. It will not remain yours for long. We shall see. Se miserie nascono dalla vidità, requiesca di pace. How is his belt not armored? I, uh, I don't know who that was, or what's going on. Ezio, thank God you're back with us. Are you alright? What happened to you? I... I don't know. One of my guards had the luck to find you in the hills. Next to Keku Orsi's dead body. See, that I remember. Wait, there was a third man. He took the apple. Who? He wore a black robe, like a monk. And I think... A missing finger. See, si. Katerina, I have to go, right away. Of course. Then you will need this as well. That's the map. Nicolo spoke of. Your husband. Ex-husband, mio caro. 
Eastward it uncovers the locations of all the Codex pages. You will recover the asset, but you will never find the vault without this. That explains why they made these DLC missions, because they never really explain how we locate the vault. I remember that. Now go. Find us a Stramalatetto monk. I think I'm going to miss you, Katarina. Oh, I know you will. Alright, so now I think that was probably the end of 12, so we're going to go start 13. Ezio, climb the rock please, get, get out of the water please. Oh, that's you. The tombs. Okay, I'll tell you what. We'll sidetrack, we'll do the tombs. Is that good? All right, now how do we get into this assassin tomb? That looks promising. Oh. All right, let's raid some tombs.
All right, we'll wait for him to come back. We'll do a from below assassination. Oh, just missed him. Come on. I guess we can't go that way. Okay, there we go. Probably a lot louder and messier than I in, had intended, uh, but we got it done. Of course, Ezio's having a grand old time spinning in place on uh, something I'm trying to tell him to climb. There we go. Next part of the puzzle. All right, he'll probably come back this way. Yep. And notice they're all wearing green, which is the color of the guards of this city, not, like, Templars or anything. Okay, there we go.
Okay. How the heck does it want me to do this? Clearly it wants me to go up there. That's how. And then climb the shields, climb up here, and burial chamber. Uh, this isn't the burial chamber. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, darn it. Uh, I hate timed parkour mechanics. No, Ezio, you... Idiot, that's not where I'm telling you to go! Okay, whoo! We did it, y'all. Look at that, look at that. Another dead assassin. We're gonna get the, the little sigil seal thing. Why would we steal the statue when uh, we, we have a copy of it back at the, uh, the ranch? Seal of Kulan Gal. I think he was the Mongolian assassin. Alright, and there's an achievement, Prison Escape. You missed a lot because your mom called? Oh, no worries. I could hear you talking. I assumed you were talking to these guys on Discord. Alright, now, I don't think there are any... So we need four more. There are two in Venice. Let's, let's hit up uh, the fast travel station. So we'll go to Venice, center town. I know there are two there, um, and I know there's one, um, what was it? There's one back at the ranch, so that means there's one uh, somewhere, either Tuscany or Florence. Okay, so there's one, and there's the other. So, um, we're probably going to finish this story tonight, and then there's one set of collectibles that I also want to do on stream for you guys, because 
Um, they're called the uh, the Subject 16 videos. Um, and they are very important to the lore. So I don't want you guys to miss out on that. On a scale of 1 to 10, um, well, Subject 16 is a major component of a major plot point a couple games from now, so I'd probably put it at about a 7 or 8. That's one hell of a place to hide the tomb. Oh, this is a this isn't a traversal one this is just there's puzzles everywhere that we have to solve oh boy all right let's go activate the puzzle here Four trials. Oh, before it retracts? Oh, boy. Oh, it's timed. I do not like this. Ezio, please, just work with me here. Where the hell is it?
There we go. Crosses. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ezio, please, just work with me here, man. Got it. Bet I'll give you guys three guesses as to what that symbol is going to be when all four of the circles have been rotated. Ezio, you're killing me here, man. What the heck am I supposed to climb? Alright, well, we're, we're not gonna do this in time because I have no idea what the, the start of the free run is. Is it this thing? Am I supposed to get up here? Somehow? What's the... Because it said go this way first, did it not? Am I supposed to jump up here and then... Wow, it did not show that at all. Alright, well, we'll still give it a shot. Anytime now, thank you. All right, let's try this again. Ezio, you idiot! Yes, I want you to throw yourself off of the thing instead of jump to the next logical foothold. Oh my good god. If we fail this, it's because of Ezio being an idiot. Really channeling Altair here. Yeah, I know, the camera is really not helping.
What? Are you kidding me? Ugh. You guys. You guys. I I can't I can't even get him to jump down because I know we're going to fail because he's an idiot. <sighs> what is this game? All right, let's try this a third time. And see if we can get the janky parkour to work. Ezio, you're killing me here, man. You're you're literally stabbing me here. Let's try once again. I can see what needs to happen, but he doesn't want to let it happen. There we go. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. Alright, one more trial, and then hopefully we don't have any more puzzle tombs. Up and around, circle up to the big cross window, and then swing on over. All right. Not terrible. Pretty straightforward. Ezio, run. Oh my god, man, run. I'm gonna kill him. I'm, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him for being so stupid. Every puzzle is a Tomb Raider puzzle if you're dumb. There we go. First try. Oh, and look at that. It's an assassin symbol. Huh. Didn't see that one coming. Oh, and it's the snake lady. There we go. Three of six. Should be an achievement. He hasn't closed any of the sarcophagus lids. All 
All right, next one is over here. And I think that'll be, what, five of six? Got something we can spend money on? We're also just going to buy all the paintings. see here all right I guess we're swimming like I said when I started off the stream, I need to uh, I need to cross the river here, and there is no convenient way to do so. About which AC are letdowns and which are good. Oh, uh, which Assassin's Creed? I thought you were talking about air conditioning units. I was like, all right. I mean, that's definitely not the uh, not the strangest conversation that's ever gone down in electrical. God, Ezio, you're killing me here, man. Climb the building, please. Alright, where is this entrance to the tomb? There it is. Assassin's Creed's, I would say, one and two are good. Well, one is all right, but it it gets some slack cut for it because um, it's the first one in the series. They didn't really know what would work, what wouldn't. Two is fantastic. Brotherhood and Revelations, not perfect, but also good um, because they, you know, you you follow the life of Ezio. Um, three. Eh, not great. Could be better. Um, there is something moving over there at that haystack. Sit back down. We're in the middle of playing a tarot game. Uh, this time I saw something. I know it. That's what you say every time. <laughs> you were right. There was something in the haystack, you feminist. Uh, three was eh, bit of a letdown. Oh, should have seen that coming. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Hmm. 
No, 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 no. I am so done with Ezio's crappy free running. Please, just do what I need you to do. Please, climb the damn ladder, get out of the hole, chase the damn Templar. It's not rocket science, Ezio. Good God. Oh my goodness. Oh my good god. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Leave me alone. Yeah, he's gonna hit the button. And he, he's gonna hit another button. Get get off the railing. Get off the wall. Just do something! Come on, man! Leave me alone! We're under attack! Guard! Yeah, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna alert the guards. Oh my good god. Oh my good god. That is how close he was to alerting them. They were around the corner. This game, holy shit. <sighs> Jesus. Anyway, three, bit of a letdown. Uh, could be better, isn't, kinda sucks. Um, oh great, there's more after that shit show. Um, Rogue was actually pretty good. Um, Black Flag fantastic. I would argue that it is on the same caliber of um, uh, Assassin's Creed 2. Uh, Unity was garbage uh, when it came out. That's the French one. Um, it's okay now that they've fixed everything. Um, oh god, is this timed? Why is this timed? Great, great job. Great, great job, Ezio. That is what I wanted you to do. You nincompoop. Can I... Can I interact with this again? And just... There we go. There we go. Uh, swing, please. Oh, now we gotta do this. Swing, please. Jump, please. Do your job, please. Ugh. Ezio, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna find the biggest building. I'm gonna throw you off of it. Oh my god. Ugh. He's killing me. He's literally causing me physical pain. Oh. Where am I even supposed to go? Yeah, we're not gonna make this. Or are we? No, it's right there. Yes! Good God. I forgot how much I hated these tombs, and I hated them.
Yeah, sure. Go for a swim, dude. Hasn't stopped you before. Don't let it stop you now. Alright, that was a relatively painless one compared to the, uh, the one in the, the big building. Which one is this? This is the one with the dagger. Alright, two more. There's one at the ranch, so we're gonna try and find um, the other one first, because the ranch is our last stop, and we'll get the armor and the sword. Oh, I forgot to get the little box. Oh well. I didn't see it behind us. Venetian Gladiator. There it is. That's the one at the ranch. Where is this one? Florence. Alright, so we're headed back to Florence. Uh, and it is in the San Giovanni district. Oh, and it put us right next to it. Excellent. Stay away from the artwork on the walls. And when your men paint the dome, take care not to disturb any of the sacred relics in the lanterna on top. They are the most important artifacts in our church. Yes, yes, Padre. Just make sure to pay us the full sum for our work.
is that supposed to mean? Yeah. Oh. This is just a climbing puzzle, which I actually like, so hopefully it won't be too ridiculous. No uh, against the clock nonsense. Just find your way to the objective. Really could have done without that camera transition. Thank you. Ben, now I have a way back up in case I fall. Oh, how nice. Immediately pressing up and he climbs down. I think Ezio's taken one too many hits to the head. Bene, now I have a way back up in case I fall, so let me just throw myself off of this here thing. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, oh, straight ahead. There we go. Oh, that's why there's cloth covering the, the grabbing surface. All right. No, do not fall, you idiot.
This seems incredibly dangerous. Oh boy, he's a madman. There we go, an assassin was buried at the top of this church. Kind of an odd place to, to have a burial, but all right. This is the one that poisoned Caligula, I think. Is there a fourth one? Nope, only three. go choir boy all right so now we're headed back to the ranch Closest fast travel is there. Oh, let's refill our medicine while we're here. <laughs> you look strong at all. All right, back to the villa. And once we do this last tomb, we'll get the armor, the sword, and then we'll head back and finish the story as well. Once we finish the story, I'll grab all the uh, Subject 16 uh, collectibles, and we can enjoy that. I think we'll be good. Because the rest of it is just largely going to be like... Oh, here we go. We can buy more art. Um, so I'm not entirely up to the, uh, like, the, the lore, um, so I'm not sure if they've mentioned subjects 1 through 15 at all. All I know is there's 16, who is the person who came before Desmond, and then Desmond is subject 17. Alright, where is this vault? Down here. What? What? Excuse me? <laughs> this one's not even hidden. I think this is just going to be another exploration and climbing puzzle, which is good. Uh, there we go. Okay. 
here. We'll 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 read these out. These, I don't know what these are. Um, one day, while ashore in the harbor looking for work, I fell in love. She was barely twenty, but when I looked into her eyes, the whole world was reflected back, clearer and brighter than the sun. After that, I still went to sea, but my heart remained on land with the girl who had become my wife and our young son. One afternoon that summer, Messer Polo called me into his study. My father was already there, beside an older man, dressed in a strange hooded cape, watching us. At that moment, everything about my life changed. My father told me that he was an assassin, removed his ring, and showed me a strange marking on his finger explaining that our family had come from an ancient order that protected and defended mankind. He paused, and then when I didn't speak, Messer Polo stepped forward. He told me that the stranger in the hood would teach me, and in return I would carry him across the Mediterranean to Spain. And so began my apprenticeship with Dante Alighieri, one that was to destroy every bit of happiness I would ever have. out of the water. Am I an idiot and I just assumed that if we swam to the end then we'd have to double back after climbing out of the water? Could we get up there from... Oh, it's a wall climb, isn't it? Wall climb and jump. Is it sewer water? Uh, worse, it's tomb water. This water's probably got dead people bits in it. Oh, is this a timed thing? Nope, nope. Ezio. Ezio, Ezio, Ezio. some kind of trick that I'm not seeing. Ezio, please just grab the damn piece of wood, you nincompoop! I just, I don't, we did this once, why is it not working anymore? I don't understand. I don't get it. There we go. Why was that so difficult? What did I do wrong? is going on here? Is this what I'm supposed to do? No, 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 no. Alright, I'm looking up a guide. I'm sick of this. Sick of this.
We're not even in the right tomb. Okay. Let's just, let's finish this. I'm so done with this. Just show me whatever I need to do to get through this, please. Oh, you know what? We we walked completely past uh, one of the the plaques. Um, so the the first plaque states, "I was raised in a small house by the Venetian lagoon, within sight of the rough, foam-capped waves of the sea. When I was barely old enough to walk, I became a sailor." Navigating the Atlantic first as an apprentice, and then while carrying cargo for my father's patron, Messier Marco Polo. It was a good life. So, if this is the Auditore family tomb, I'm willing to bet this is talking about Ezio's father. Hey, hey guys, you remember how earlier I said that I was turbo dumb? Yeah, it's, it's happening again. We walked right past it. Ezio, why? Why do you hate me? What have I done to wrong you, sir? If I am holding forward, and there is an object for you to jump to that is right in front of you, why would you ch- Why? 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 Alright, this is a combination of my turbo dumb and Ezio's turbo stupid. Oh my, thank God. These tombs are infuriating. Okay. In preparation for our voyage, Messier Al Alighieri met with me repeatedly. At first, our meetings were about purchasing supplies, but soon they became about higher things. Life, love, honor, justice. He taught me that society was set up in such a way as to control its members, to stop us from thinking, from seeing. Soon I could look past all of the laws and illusions that I understand was, uh, what I understood was that mankind was being used by its rulers, that we, the people, deserved freedom. It was then that Dante began showing me pages from a book that Messier Polo had brought back from the palace of the great Genghis Khan. The manuscript, the Codex, was about order. The assassin. Our order. The assassins. Ooh, 
Ooh, got it. Our planned voyage never took place. While returning to Ravenna to pick up the remainder of his belongings, Dante died. Dismayed at the loss of my mentor, I went to inform my father and Messier Polo of the sad news, but before I could even speak, I was ushered into the study. My father, his face white, locked the door behind me. Shocked, I listened in silence as he spoke. Dante intended to take the Codex to Spain where it would be safe, but he was being watched the enemy of the assassins, the Knights Templar, still existed. I recalled the stories he had told me of the Templars, and it all became clear. Dante had been murdered. The Templars knew about the Codex, and they knew about us. Shaking, my father told me to take the Codex and leave for Spain at once with my wife and child. As Messer Polo ushered me out the door, he handed me a small piece of paper with a number on it. With this number, I could draw on his credit, more ducats than I had ever seen in my life at any bank in Italy. Please just, please stop gentle pushing the air and use the lever, Ezio. Up and over. Straight ahead to there. Okay. Ezio, what? Ezio! Ezio, why? <clears throat> Jess, why would you do this to me? Why would you why would you tell me to do the tombs? They are awful, Jess. Why? Why would you torture me like this? Have I wronged you? We set sail that night. The ship filled with cargo to sell in the markets at Barcelona. At first, all was well. Then, to avoid a coming storm, we laid anchor in the Ontranto Harbor. Cloaked in darkness, the pirates came. I didn't see them until they were already boarding my ship. I hid with my family in the hold. Pulling out the codex, I ran the worn leather cover over my hands. Then, I broke the spine. The pages slid silently onto the floor. I scattered them into chests, boxes, and containers I was carrying to market. The men who found us were drunk. I could smell it on their breath. When they asked for the codex, I knew who had sent them. Holding back my rage, I said that I had thrown it overboard. They started to laugh. Two held me down, while the rest cut off... Ooh, my. Oh, well... All right, so pirates killed his wife. Ezio, please. Ezio. Ezio, please. I need you to work with me here, buddy. We're on the same team. Oh, God. 
I never saw the sea again. Making my way to Florence, I rented a small room and then visited the bank. I had memorized Polo's account number. With the vast sum I now had at my disposal, I went to Venice in disguise to find my father. I returned to Florence the next day, and both Polo and my father were already dead. From that moment forward, I collected treatises on architecture, studied the classics, and took vocal lessons. I adopted the name Auditore, impersonating a noble at the Florentine court. Accepted as one of their own, I took on the trappings of nobility and constructed this villa for me and my son. And then I hunted them. I raised my son to fight, to find the codex, and to kill. Templars. Together we would regain the honor of my wife and avenge the death of my father, two debts that would never, and could never, be repaid. To the auditory that reads this, remember that you are not a nobleman. You are not one of the deceivers. You are one of the people. Avenge us. Okay, but why why go through like putting all these puzzles in the way just to get to your family crypt? We don't even know who's buried here. It's definitely not his father. Maybe his grandfather? Or no, didn't didn't our uncle Marco say that uh or Mario say that uh like, our great-grandfather or something uh, was the one that built the, the villa, so it's, it's like our great-grandfather. Is there anything to get here? Anything special? Or was it just, was it just this? Okay, I guess it's just that, then. Oh my god, that wasn't even the right tomb! <sighs> we got nothing for it. We got like $2,000 and it doesn't matter. Because we got $3,000 for completing the, the, the mission. It doesn't matter. Like, we got a little bit of... Um... A little bit of lore regarding his, like, great-grandfather or something. Oh, and it puts us all the way out here. Great. Alright, so where's this last one? Where are we going? Um, it is in Tuscany, in San Gimignano? I can't pronounce that. Mr. Complete reads all the Assassin's Creed lore at the wrong tomb, lo-fi ASMR! <laughs> All right, that's good. That's very good. Ugh. All right, Tuscany. It's located Alright, fine, we'll go to the north gate, whatever. Guide doesn't say what gate specifically. There it is. Please just let it be another climbing one, not anything ridiculous.
is this thing? Out of my way. I will start stabbing if you do not get out of my way. There we go. Here it is. And there we go. You're already subscribed to this. Alright. How the heck does it want us to traverse this? Where the heck are we even supposed to be going? Up there? go. So there's a flock of geese flying over our building. The video that you sent, to, or that your mom sent you? Uh, no. I will, uh, I'll watch it when I'm not streaming. <laughs> Ezio, please. Ezio, why? Just jump to the big wagon wheel hanging from the ceiling, please. Thank you. If you're hungry, uh, why haven't you made dinner yet? I told you, you can make food for yourself.
There we go. What was that, Ezio? Please explain. Show your work. You can always have some of those uh, chicken tenders that you made. There's uh, chicken tenders and mashed potatoes. And green beans, I think. But if you do end up ordering Domino's, uh, I'll have my usual. Where the heck is this thing? Oh. Jess, you are right. Uh, Domino's is the exact opposite of healthy eating, but it also tastes really good, so I'm okay with it. We found it, the final tomb. Holy crap. Alright, that's the final tomb. Let's go get the armor, the weapon, and then let's get back to the story.
All right, back to the ranch. Let's get this armor and this weapon. Oh boy. Thieves are great at free running. No, they're not. They'll hur hurl themselves off of buildings. We've seen it firsthand. Stop lying to us. we are even more rich. Don't mind me just carrying around five incredibly heavy seals with me everywhere I go. Great gift. May it shield me from my enemies. And there we go. There's Altair's armor. Now let's go get that sword. go Get it, good sir. Mention me to your amish. Look at that health bar. Holy cow. Hopefully with this sword, I won't have to worry about getting hit with rocks. Organized, but 
I do know my smith. Well, yes, not here, is it? Oh, goodbye for now. One of the other collectibles I'd like to get, just so that you guys can get a, a another bit of lore. I'm not sure if there's an achievement for them or not, but I'd, I'd like to get them regardless. Is the uh, the codex pages that has a, a real cool reveal once you get all of them. Not him either. There we go. Oh no, I didn't want to synchronize again. Darn it. Oh, is that him? That glow? I think so. Blessings on you, brother. Grazie. I wonder if you can help me. What is he? A monk in black robes who lacks one of his ten fingers. Well, Brother Guido has only nine toes. Are you sure it wasn't a toe? I'm quite sure. And then there's Brother Domenico, but it's his entire left arm he's lacking. Again, <laughs> quite sure it was a finger. Hmm. Now, wait a moment. I do recall a black robed monk with nine fingers. Yes, of course. When we had our last San Vincenzo's feast at the Abbey. Yes, I know the place. I'll try there. Grazie. Go in peace, brother. I always do.
Excuse me, brother. I wonder if you can... Uh, unholy demon! Get away! What's wrong? You're the one who killed Brother Stefano! Brothers, the killer of monks has returned! What? those who kill others. Your brother Stefano was a killer. I'm sure you are no such thing. Now, listen to me. I'm looking for a black-robed monk who's missing a finger. Missing a finger, you say? Do you mean, like, Fra Savonarola? Savonarola? Who is this? You know him? I did. He was one of us, for a time. And then? We suggested he retire to a hermitage for a good long time. I'm afraid to say his retreat has come to an end. Where would he have gone? Oh dear. Santo Spirito in Firenze? It's where he studied. Perhaps it's where he would return. I thank you. Go with God, brother. All right, so we're back to Florence then. Yep, there's memory. Oh, that was 12. Okay, so 12's done, but now we need to do 13. Hey, Desmond. I think I repaired that busted memory. Why don't you try opening it? What do you mean not doing anything useful? Rebecca's maintaining the animus as we use it. Only a tenth of his father's talent. We'd still have some place to call home. Yeah, I'd say he's in his thirties. Never should have welcomed that mad monk into the city. Look at all the misery he's wrought. Oh, we missed a tower in Florence. Sometimes I wish the assassin would return to Firenze, that we might be free of his tyranny. It's just a myth, a story parents tell their children. Salve, you picked a fine time for a homecoming. 
then it's true. Savamarola has taken control of Firenze. Yes. No doubt aided by that treacherous artifact. We should get to work on retrieving it. That may be more complicated than it seems. <laughs> when isn't it? Why don't you fill me in on things? Walk with me. It all started a few weeks ago. The man everyone once reviled was suddenly the one they worshipped. Ah, the apple. Only in part. It's not the city he's from, but its leaders. Men possessed of influence and power. They, in turn, oppressed the citizens and ensured his will is done. The people act as if they have no say in the matter. Rare is the man willing to oppose the status quo. And so it falls to us to help them see the truth. Those bodies bear the emblem of the Borgia. Yes. The Spaniard keeps sending his soldiers into Firenze, and Firenze keeps sending them back, usually in pieces. Then he knows the apple is here as well. An unfortunate complication. Cool. Let's do it. Assault will be dangerous. True. But what other option is there? Aside from the city leaders, the people's minds are their own, correct? See. Si. And they follow Savonarola not by choice, but force and fear. See. Si. Then I propose we use this to our advantage. We can silence his lieutenants and stir up discontent. You will be distracted, and I will have a chance to strike. Clever. I'll speak with La Volpe and Paola. They can help to organize the uprising as you free the districts. Then it's settled. I'll take care of his abettors. Passa. Do you hear me? Until you've all submitted and given yourself over to the prophet, Savonarola, this bridge will remain close to you. Jeez, nine lieutenants we have to kill? What is this, Assassin's Creed 1? Oh my god, how many of these high points are there? Truth be told, I don't even know if there's an achievement for getting all of the towers. Gotcha. 
Got him. You were a noble's clothes. How is it Savonarola charmed you? Wealth and power do not ensure contentment. I wanted even more. And now instead, you have nothing. Questo non è che un atto dovuto. Requiescat in pace. People of Firenze, come, gather round. Listen well to what I say. The end approaches. Now is the time to repent, to beg God's forgiveness. Got him. Your mind, since it is your own. <laughs> Not all of us require deception to be convinced. I already believed. All I said is true. Nothing is true. A meno compito facile. Okay, I guess we became incognito again, somehow. Not really sure how, but whatever.
may as well sink this vantage point here. This just seems like busy work. Like most of these guys, there's not even like any gimmick. It's just run up and stab them and then run away from the guards, which, I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't mind it necessarily if I'm going to have to assassinate someone, but... See, like, that was easy, but it's just busy work. What have I done? What have I done? Your actions were not your own. But they were. My own self-doubt let him hold me as he did. I am sorry. As am I. Non è una scelta. Il compio a cuor leggero. Requiescat in pace. Oh, hello everyone. Goodbye. Alright, that's three of nine. How the heck do I get over to this one? God, where is this thing? There it is. Another tapering crusader. Go. There's the next one. So this is four out of nine. Kill those crates. We can ill afford to let their contents fall into the wrong hands. We'll see just how tough the holdouts are. We have foot to go without food. Kill your target without being detected. Beyond me. Oh. Think I once 
consider them my favorites. I got my face full of these roads. Open my eyes. Dennis. Savonarola will lead us into a new era. One of return, equality, and justice. Where is this guy? Not only is it busy work, but it's annoying to get done. Come on! What is the point? Oh my god, what is the point of not getting not getting spotted? Who cares? I got spotted killing the other three. No one gave a shit. of the instance of combat and the division it creates. What? Are, are you kidding me? How? <laughs> what is the point of this? Uh, I'm just, I'm so done with the busy work. Please just let me finish the game. I just want to finish the game. What's the name of this stupid mission? What is the name of this stupid mission? I'm so done with this. What is the name of this stupid mission? Port Authority? There's no easy way. There is absolutely no easy way. Some guy's got a freaking graph showing the proper approach to take. I just... I can't. No, nope. do not spot me. You jerk. I'm just gonna try picking people off with the pistol. Dennis on the instance of combat and the division it creates. Savonarola will lead us into a new era. One of return. Equality. All that remains is for us to cast off the shackles of our troubled past.
Okay. Now I want to get this game done tonight. You guys gonna leave me alone? One of the journey, equality and justice. Oh. Okay. There we go. Whew. There he is. Okay. I've got a plan. I'm really hoping it goes well. So we're going to wait for these guys that are patrolling. They're going to turn. Got him. Got him! That's what I'm talking about. Best assassin, number one. Oh, my goodness gracious. You tried to force the emotion. No good thing has ever come of that. Then kill me or quarry si adorbato. La mia mente è lucida. Requiescat in pace. Ezio, what are you doing? Get get out of there. Come on. What are you doing, man? Where? Who? <sighs> oh my god. No more of those, please. I'll take the busy work. I, I will take five more boring just walk up and stab thems over one more of whatever the hell that was. Just climb, please. Thank you. Your orders are simple. Keep watch over these fields and ensure no harm comes to the bundles of hemp. It may seem a mundane task, but it is critical nonetheless. No. <laughs> Assassinate the farmer, but avoid alerting his henchmen. Of course. Of course. Why? Why? 
Why? What? What is the point of being stealthy when we've already just walked up in front of a crowd of people three times and killed someone? Not you. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? Oh god, they it would have cost them zero dollars to not release this mission as DLC, and they did it anyway. I have no idea why they're having me target a farmer. Oh my god, this is infuriating. Not only am I going after just a stupid individual farmer, not even anyone important, but it, oh, a, a, avoid alerting his guards. Why? Why is that necessary? Why is any of this necessary? Okay, I think when he walks back this way, he gets close enough to the cart of hay that I can just stab him. If not, I'm just going to jump out and stab him. Goodness gracious. The Etos Rai to Osono. Requiesca di pace. Goodness gracious. All right. What, and again, why? What is the purpose of just them marching around? I feel like this was made by an intern. They're like, we need DLC for Assassin's Creed 2. Jimmy, stay late this weekend and uh, get it done. Where's the next closest one? Here we go. Impressive move. Oh, here we go. We can buy art. Oh, this isn't art. Of course, I understand. Another time. This is the art merchant. There we go. Oh, I got an achievement for that too. Whatever is on 
Something is wrong here. Where is everyone? How am I supposed to get into this building? Ezio, please, just, just find the entrance. Don't... Alright, I have been in a full circle around this building. There is no way in. So, up and over we go, I guess? I have no idea. Ah, another challenger. Excellent. Savonarola won a song with the Poza Rule. And so I devised this little trap to ferret out those foolish enough to play at hero. It's proven to be both entertaining and effective. Incoming, Charmo! <laughs> what a spectacle! I don't know, man. These guys are all out of their minds. Really, please just block his attacks. I have I have hit counter enough. Please just block his attacks. Oh my god, Ezio, please. Thank you. For once, do your job. God, is this guy done talking yet? Please just please 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 just please climb please please climb the damn building oh my god
Dear God. Oh my God. All right. Myself intoxicated. I wish I had been stronger. As do I. Mirin crepece, ma non c'è altro modo. Requiescat in pace. All right, got away from him. Never mind, of course there's more right here for some reason that just appeared out of thin air. This game just wants us to waste time. Okay. Next closest one is right here. How many we got? Two more? Three more. Why do we have three more? Because it's not even done after we're done with these nine. We're just trying to kill these nine to get to the one. It's our duty to cure her. How? By forcing our people to follow a madman? It is unwise for you to challenge those in power. Yes. Well. What time is it? Uh, it's 11.30 already. Yeah, you know what? I think we're going to call it. This is ridiculous. This is such a slowdown, such a roadblock. To the end of the game. I do not remember this at all, and I hate this. Alright, well, Monday, I think what we'll do is we'll finish this up. I think we'll finish this up next week. Shouldn't take too long, and then we'll get started with Brotherhood. So, alright, well, thanks for sticking with me, Jess, the, the whole way, and Jen, if you're still awake. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I guess we'll, I'll do all this nonsense in the meantime. Yeah, no, I'll, I'm going to finish killing the, uh, the lieutenants and then get a bunch of the non, uh, lore related collectibles that have achievements and then, um, then, uh, you know, pause it there so that when we come back we can do the rest of the story, and then all of the, the lore collectibles that I want to show you guys, um, which shouldn't take too long. As a matter of fact, I think I can even collect some of the lore collectibles without triggering, you know, the cutscene, so uh, I think I'll do that as well. All right, see you next week. Thanks for sticking with me, and have a good night.